Coco, who's been here for a few weeks now, had a litter of puppies and she hasn't had a bath yet. So we are going to do that. I did attempt it at one point. She is petrified of the hose. So today we're gonna try it in a bigger bin, one of those storage under the bed boxes and um, try and do it in a gentler, kinder way. But she does not like water. She doesn't like to go out and pee in the rain. She doesn't like the hose. So hence the leash <laughs> and coaxing. Right, Coco Bean? Come on, you! Let's go! I know, it's tough. Life stinks. Come on. Oh. You usually go down oh. to the grooming table. <laughs> we took Coco for a walk before we're going to try this so she could have a chance to go to the potty because sometimes if they get stressed, they do, um, they can go potty. I'm going during to be the mommy's process. helper. I have a couple helpers. Yes, I do. Image is helping Coco ramp up the angst a little bit here, but that's okay. Coco needs to know that life is going to be okay. Normally I would use the hose, which is what I used on little Missy, but um, she is terrified of the hose. So we are changing tactics and we're gonna use a tub of water. I'm gonna actually try and get her to stand in there, but if it comes down to it, we'll just try something else. Right, Coco? <laughs> I know, I want this to be fun. There you go, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Life's tough, isn't it? This whole getting a bath thing stinks. Good girl, Coco Bean. Can I squirt it on her? Squirt it in my hand. Please. Good girl. Okay, Reagan, go ahead. Keep it open. Now, Coco has a lot of oil buildup on her. She hasn't had a bath in a while. I don't know if she had one before she came to us through the, um, through the rescue. So we're using Dawn to get all those oils and whatnot off of her coat and skin. And we're gonna start over, aren't we, girly? I'm gonna try and stay away from her head. She doesn't mind if you use a towel and wipe her with it. So I'm gonna use a wet washcloth later and, and get that. But I am going to get as far up the neck as I can and save her head for later. Right, monkey? And rub it in. They like the massage, don't you? She was split. <laughs> she was, she was a little bit more. When I tried this with the hose, you see little, little bouts of I'm not doing this. But she was on a grooming table and throwing herself everywhere it was not a pretty thing. I was afraid she was going to hurt herself. So this is the lesser of two evils. Right, Snickle Fritz. I know. Mwah. I do not recommend putting your face in a dog's that you do not know how they're going to react to you. She's been with us long enough for me to say, I know you love me, and you know I love you too, huh? Yes, it's still happening. Give me your turkey. I put another lead on Coco's behind. Um, I rinsed her front mostly, so that way she can't throw herself and get away. I don't want this to be, I fight, I get my way, kind of a reinforcement thing for her. So, oh, Coco Bean. She is shivering a little bit. Most of it is stress, not because she's cold. So it is nerves. Why is she shivering? <laughs> I know, you will live. If they're socialized young, dog, most dogs don't have this uh, tendency to overreact to a bath. She is now starting to whine and just try to throw herself around more. So it is stressful for her. Do your dogs a favor and get them used to it while they're little, where it's not such a big deal. I would typically get the dog dryer out and dry her, but once again, I don't know how she's gonna react and, and less stress, this has been enough. So we're gonna towel dry her today, and then let her air dry after we get the worst of it off. Right, monkey pot, I know it's here. After they either click or don't click, you can just make the video pop up. 